traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, you, Lewis. <laughs> Sorry if I slur my speech a little bit today, folks, but uh, let's move on and talk about the NASDAQ. This is where we left it on yesterday's show. You notice we were trading there at uh, uh, 2960, uh, I believe, and what we were trying to do uh, was to see that if it get, could get down to this level right here, which is 12,000. 600. We were trading at 12,660, but we were looking at that number of 12,600 as being something very, very important. But this was extremely important, folks, and the old cowboy missed it. It wasn't until after the show was over that several of our really astute followers came on and said, Bubba, you done missed a good one. And boy, they, I certainly did. Let me show you what I did wrong here, folks. If you remember, here's what we were watching. This was the NAS. I want to walk through this because to me, this is important. This is one of those times where you're on the air and you should have been sparkling like a little diamond and you end up being like an old chuck of coal there in Terre Haute, Indiana, off of the Fairbanks, Fairbanks mine. As you can see here, we have these lower tops and we have lower bottoms coming in here and we have the market coming down right here. I showed the 382 retracement here. And I showed the other, I think I showed the other 382 retracement there. And we were coming down and I said, this has the potential to be pretty bullish if we could get the doggone thing down to that old magical level. We'll get that up here again, just so I can walk through the process to show you what I was watching last night. And we'll get this up here. You'll be able to see it. You'll see that was the number I wanted to look at was right at 2660. The exact 382 off the low way back here. Well, guess what happened, boys and girls? After the markets closed, I get two emails from several of our uh, very, very advanced students. And they said, Bubba, you done missed a big one. And I said, what is that? Look closely, my son, they said. Look closely, my son, and you shall see. It'll be a ride that you will love to reveal. And here is what we have. I was a poet, and I once know it. I used to rhyme every time. Okay, here is where we are. This is, look at this, folks. Look at this A, B, C, D measured to the exact low. Look at this A, B equals C, D measuring to this exact low. And what am I focused on? I'm focused on the 382 retracement 200 points lower when we're setting here. And then we start the big rally towards the end of the day and all day today. And there we are banging up against that 61% retracement. And we get above that line. And if we get above that line and we're going to, we're probably going to explode to the upside. If it stops here and rolls over, it's going to be very, very interesting. But right now, this is the ball game because remember the NASDAQ let it down and it could be getting ready to lead it up. Alibaba came out and there was something very, very exciting about that today. I don't know what it was, but, uh, it was certainly in the news and certainly moving very, very quickly. So those are numbers that are that are really, really spot on. Okay, before we get into some of these things, we're going to take a quick trip across the pond so that we can take a look at the uh, the markets in Europe. We're going to take a look at the FTSE. Just get this up here one second. There we go. And then we'll be right in to be able to see the FTSE. Beautiful pattern. You'll see that we came right down uh, to the 61% retracement, had the big move up into here, and now we're setting in an area where we're either going to be popping through or backing off. My guess is, and this is strictly a guess, just based on this nice little Fibonacci numbers that we're seeing here, that'll tell us that you know we're in a pretty strong upward trend because you've got the 78% retracement here, 
and it looks like you're getting ready to go a lot higher because you had another one right here and you came back out of that with some strength. So that tells you they're probably going higher in the German DAX. So the next one we're going to take a look at, we're going to take the old speed train over across the pond and we're going to take a look at the old uh, the German DAX over there in Munich. Hold on one second here and we'll get this up to take a look at it. All righty. <clears throat> And you can see here we came down perfect 61% retracement. And you can see the smaller ones in here. And then, boom, away it went to the upside. It just started out. It hasn't broken out to the upside as of yet. So it's getting ready to do that. But with the um, action that they had yesterday, it certainly appears like it wants to go uh, in that direction, you know, without any trouble at all that's for sure we've got to do the i want to show the nasdaq on two different ways because it's uh it's very very important because we've been here so many times to me that's the key to where the market's going to be going and i want to show the weekly of this because that's the one that's going to give us a uh, really good indication of where we are with this thing and i think that's the important thing to look at well i think all i have on the weekly would be this one right here and all it does is it goes back. Well, it's close enough. This is what I want to see. You'll see here's the NASDAQ. It's pretty much up to date with about yesterday's uh, data in there. But none, no, none of today's data has been put on yet. And you'll be able to see this. That uh, Hopefully it'll come. There it is right there. You see, oh, we've got a caller from Bob in District of Columbia. What can I do for you, Bob? Yeah, hi. Can you hear me? You're coming in great, my friend. You're coming in great. All righty, all righty, five by five. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, net gas, uh, the last time I called was on the 22nd last month, and I got that bottom. Today, very likely, we hit the bottom today. Yes, sir, and, I uh, think so, too. And uh, my, my saturation indicator was uh -huh. telling me that. The last time it was uh, qualitatively they're both the same, but last time it was quantitatively stronger. But quantity doesn't mean anything with saturation. All, you, all it has to be is saturated. And this one, uh, I'm looking at it right now, and this one definitely looks better than a short covering rally so far. So far. Uh, I have to agree with that. I'm going to be covering that at the first break, so stay tuned, because I did a lot of work on that last night and showing the difference between cool. the April and the June and uh, the rollover and stuff. And we've had a not a big move, 20 points off the bottom, but it's still early in the day. We could still go a lot higher, but uh, I was thing. in there buying it One last more thing. night. Uh, uh, remember last time I caught it was a 47 Lucas number. This yes. time, I think the other, the shorter Lucas number is 18, and I think this is, you know, plus or minus one. This is 18 from the other okay. uh, pivot. Well, we're going to be looking at those when we come up with the next breaks. For Where are you, in District of Columbia, of Vancouver? <laughs> or Washington yeah. DC. No, the District of Criminals. Oh, the, the District. Oh, you're in the you're in the, you're in the northern part of Virginia. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> oh, it's Sorry. a great place, but you know, okay. you know, <laughs> that's what I say. The last time we talked, uh, I'm about as far away from Capitol Hill as I can get without getting wet. So, okay. You know. <laughs> All right. Good luck on the You're good luck on the natural gas. We'll cover that when we get back from the break, folks. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I posted that chart of the NASDAQ making the ABCD yesterday down here at the bottom. You can see these places where the 38% uh, retracing come in, that's at 12,975. We're trading above that already, folks. So we had a big ABCD. Basically, that's a five-day down at an ABCD, missing the 382 retracement by uh, 200 points. It was supposed to come in at 16, uh, 12,600. It came in at 12,640. And now it's, uh, excuse me, yeah, 12,640. And now it's had a heck of a run up to you. And this tells you this thing is getting ready to break out, folks. You can take uh, anything you want to about uh, banking in crisis or anything like that. Uh, somebody out there knows something that this market wants to go higher. You don't want to stand in front of it. And uh, that's the main thing is you just got to stand outside or get long. And, you know, last night I... I had uh, I was saying I was thinking more about it and I could see it and I said boy you got to get long in here and it just took off and kept running and running and running so that's another one that you got to pay very very close attention to it has some really positive things folks let me show you what this would mean here because this is a uh, this is the uh, daily chart of the uh, Nasdaq and you'll be able to see it much clearer as we get up here, you won't be able to see the intraday, but there you can see here we had this little pullback here after the highs just a few days ago, and now we're getting ready to go blasting above that. Oh, my goodness. Don't know what the reason would be, but you don't want to trade what you see, not what you think, because you start thinking about it, you know, then you're in big, big trouble. But these are acting extremely bullish, and you just don't want to stand in front of that, okay? Let's try to remember that. Now, let's get back, and we're going to talk about uh, – uh, well, someone asked a question about the soybeans. Okay, I got out of the soybeans too early of the July beans. I got out at 437. And so what I've done is I go to a smaller time frame. Over the next couple of days, I just take a three or four minute chart and I try to find a pattern that would tell me that, yeah, we might be getting ready for some type of correction. And today you can see we've had a really nice three drive to a top pattern up here near the high of the day. Last time I checked, we were still below that level, but uh, that tells us that at least a small three drive to a pattern here. There might be a correction coming, and we've got this big report coming here on the 31st. The stocks and all, uh, no, it's a planning intentions report, and that's going to be a really big one, but it's going to be, you don't want to take a position into that. What you want to do is have your order setting in there 
either above or below the market, especially if you'd like to have it below the market so it can gap down and fill you. And then uh, you should be able to, because this is a major bottom in the, these grains, folks. And it could break easily because we're only up 40 or 56 cents from the bottom. You know, they could give that up in a heartbeat if the, if the report is very, very bearish. But then again, you know, it doesn't stay bearish for very long because they know that it takes a long time to grow a crop and a lot of things can happen in between. So those are some of the things that we're paying attention to today. Now, let's go back into the history books for two reasons. One, we want to take a look at Apple because this was yesterday was a perfect a 135 pattern, had everything going for it. And all Apple has to do, folks, is to close above that line, and that is extremely bullish for two reasons. It's breaking this long-term downtrend line. This is on the weekly chart, boys and girls. This is the weekly. Okay, and the low that we made here, look at this. This is just like what we did in the NASDAQ, A, B, C, D, at the 382. Now, the NASDAQ missed the 382 by 200 points, which 200 out of – uh, index that is 12,600 is a very, very small amount, but in fact, it wasn't perfect. And so we have to wait to s and decide what to do besides that. But right now, it's acting extremely bullish on some of these things, folks. They, they just really are, and you don't want to stand in front of it if you're in there trading. You can sure do short-term scalps, but to try to say this is going to be a top for four or five days – you know, be really careful with that. And that probably means today's going to be the high. I don't know that for a fact, folks. I'm just saying that you trade what you see and not what you think. You're going to be far better off than if you, you know, just uh, try to e examine every little swing in the market and, and try to make predictions on everything. That's pretty difficult to do. Very few people can do it. I certainly can't. Now, let's look at a couple markets that we've been following really closely because they are in the game, as they say here. Now, as we get up to this one, we're going to start out with the crude oil, okay? And we'll remember, here's where we were in crude oil the other day. If you'll remember, we'll get this up here, and uh, we'll see this coming here. And there's where we were in the crude oil. Okay, we had the beautiful ABCD here down, and then we had the big move up. We had the 135 pattern, and that's where we were Sunday night. And then the market gapped down to get to our level right here, right into that 382 zone, and that's where our order was setting. And we were basically uh, planning on using that for trading beans and other things, but we made that beautiful low right down here. And then we made the secondary low right here at a perfect 61% retracement, just like we did in gold. So that gave us an A, B, C, D to the upside in crude oil. So today, one of the things we did last night was send the video out and say, let's get ready. We want to put a really nice trade on in the crude oil tomorrow at the A, B, C, D. And so we get this up here, and I'll show you how all this worked out. And you'll see there it goes right there. We were looking for this market to go right up to here. And you can see we've had a big break to the downside since that time. There's one slight probability. One slight probability. You see that 1.618 number up there at uh, 75.53? Okay, that's where our order was setting. And what did it do? It went nine cents under that. In other words, nine ticks got to 93.43, uh, I think, or 48, something like that. Missed it by just uh, just a heartbeat. And then, of course, it broke badly. Now, what I was doing after the market broke badly, I said, well, watch for the 382 coming back. And that's the one you want to be able to jump on board and see if you can uh, see if you can get that one. So if you look at this and check the 382 on that, that came in at 73.48 uh, and the high was 73.48. We're now 73.10. So sometimes these markets work pretty good to these numbers, and that's what we're trying to pay attention to here today as we're looking at them, okay? So we'll move on here, and then we're going to cover uh, another market that is uh, in, in the news, and it's been in the news for a long time. There's going to be a lot of charts on this. This is natural gas, folks. I want to bring this up because yesterday uh, we were looking at the – hold on one second here. Uh-oh, that's the wrong one. Just a minute. we got to get it on Discord. Hold on. Uh-oh, okay. All right, this is it. This is what we want. 
This is the chart that we've been waiting for for a long time. Now, you'll notice here that we had the ABCD to the upside. That was the high, $10. $10. Then the market came down. And there's your first drive. There's your second drive. There's your third drive. There's your ABCD to the downside right there. And you can see these are very, very harmonical. All right. So we go out into the future. We want to find out what's going to happen next. And that is not an easy task unless you use a little tool called Fibonacci because the Fibonacci will bring you to the promised land. Here is, let's get this up here. Hold on. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're watching these markets uh, move around today. We just stocks continue to move higher. Uh, bonds are basically. Uh, uh, flat, uh, slightly higher today on the bonds, not doing too much. But let's take a look here at this NASDAQ. Now, what I've done here, I was watching after the markets closed last night. I was catching up with the uh, markets, and I happened to look over, and the flash came up uh, that uh, natural gas was trading at 201. Well, I was looking at the March contract, the May contract, that was trading at uh, 9, 9 uh, excuse me, at uh, 290. Was that right? Two, yeah, two, excuse me, 220. I said, why is that different? So I realized that they were trading the April contract. So if you look at this chart that you're seeing, this is the April contract, and that matches up exactly to what we were looking at on the weekly. 
just put it up here so you can see it. This is what we've had here for a very long time. I've never changed anything. But you'll see that we're right down in that zone where it should get. I don't think it's going to go to zero, but it might. You'll see there's where we were. We're almost at that level. That level comes in at 202, uh, 202 and it went to 199. However, in the June contract, which is the, excuse me, the May contract, which is the one you have to trade, that number comes in at 206. And let's get that one because that's what we were watching yesterday when we were on the tube here to see where we were going to be. I'm going to do it two ways so you'll be able to see it. This is a, uh, this is the first way with a little bit more uh, people in the in the mix here. You'll see there it is right there. All right. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to cuddle up and go really close to it so we can see where we might be absolutely perfectly. And we did have a drop or a uh, the market halted for a while. They took pictures because there was a fight on the floor. I uh, don't know what was causing it, but it was uh, definitely something that was serious and uh, it was all taken care of eventually. Uh oh, this is not right. Uh, let's get over here. There's what I want. Okay, here it is, right here. Now this is the uh, uh, hourly chart, four hour chart, I believe. Let's try it again, Larry, it's the hourly chart. And that tells us that we should get down to uh, 12, <laughs> at 206. Now we've been, we're up at 222 right now, so it exploded off of this level right here, which was a 61% retracement. And just a minute here, I got to tell Mr. Tucker that uh, Mr. Tucker, I'm doing a radio show now, my boy. You want to tell hello, say hello to everybody? <laughs> well, it's ten o'clock here. You're in New you're, you're in Florida. Listen, I'll get back to you later, brother. Okay? Yeah. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Gosh, these guys from University of Chicago can't even. Tail time, for heaven's sakes. Okay, anyway, this is what we're looking for to get here. Now, what I'm doing is I still think we got a chance to get to this level. Now, we did get up into here, but all we've really done so far is just jump up a little tiny ABCDs up and down. So I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a couple of days here to see if we can get down to that 206 level with a stop below 190. I'm going to risk about 800 large on this because it's got a chance to being a really big bottom. The news is getting more and more bearish all the time. Uh, the uh, District of Columbia, Washington area, is going to disallow gas stoves eventually. That's another I ideal uh, thing to go on here. We've got so much of that stuff to use, and they're going to lend it, let it just dissipate uh, forever. So that's uh, one of the things we certainly don't want to, uh, to have happen. But this is the real key chart, folks. Let me get back up here. That covers the natural gas, by the way. But I want to bring this one up here because this is the big daddy rabbit. Because if this puppy is getting ready to break out to the upside, look out, Gertrude, because it certainly could. I thought today was so important because I thought we were going to break below that 12,600 <laughs> 12, level, which was that 61% retracement. And we didn't even get close to it. And then the market turned around and took out the highs. That's the key level, though, folks. And now you watch that 12,600 uh, level because if we go below that now, that will be extremely bearish. And I will repeat it over and over again. That will be extremely bearish. But it's still a little early in the game to call it bearish now. In fact, it's nothing but bullish, as you can see by the markets that are you know, moving the markets each day. They just keep going up and up and up and up and up and up. And that's what you're, that's what you're looking to see here as we – Watch these things go through uh, the market each day here. Okay, here's what we got to do. We got to do one other thing in here, and then we'll be all done and get on with the questions that you might have. Hold on one second here. I want to get back up to that soybean thing because I wanted to show you we've got all the way up now to the 78% level in the soybeans. Uh, you know, I... I don't expect to get the highs or lows all the time, but we took profits here. We bought it right here, which was really great. But the problem is we got out here. We're now trading right up here at the 78% level. But this is, I think it's got a chance to be a really big one, folks. Uh, some of the folks just kept using a trailing stop and never even got, 
it never even got close. In fact, the most it can back off is about eight or nine cents, and then away it goes to the upside. We had a chance last night to get back in where we got out, but uh, I I said let's just wait. We got this big crop report coming in on the 31st, and that's going to be a big one. So my assumption is that the market's probably factoring it in already because we're up well over 70 uh, cents. We took 60 of that 70 so far, but that's the uh, way it's going. And it looks like it still wants, you know, to go a great deal higher, which uh, it certainly is. It's already up another uh, 10, 10, 12 cents today. So that's a really, really powerful number uh, to pay attention to. Uh, the gold market has just been chopping around. It hasn't really uh, done very much. We got out of the we got out of spot gold uh, in the April at uh, 1980. We bought that if you remember at 1940, and that was a nice move. Uh, market has broken down below the 382 now, so we're able to uh, keep a close eye on that as far as what we think will happen next to it. So that's uh, going to be down the road a little bit before we do anything else in gold. The retracement that we had last night went up to the 50% level and is now trading about oh, 10 handles, $10 a, uh, an ounce under that. So same thing with the silver. It had a little bit of a rally and now has started to sell off. So those are just a few of the things that we're you know, paying attention to here today. We had a, a trade in the euro that turned out to be our first loser in uh, a couple of days, but uh, that was a, uh, gave it a little bit more room on that than we should have. It ended up being a $600 loss instead of a $400 loss, but uh, just didn't work out. So you got to go with the one that work, folks. Uh, there'll be another train coming down the track. It might be natural gas. It might be live cattle. It might be wheat. We don't know. We just look at these patterns, try to tell us where we are within the confines of uh, the parameters that we have to use, which is the ABCD and the mathematical numbers of the Fibonacci summation sequence. Those are the key ones, you know, to pay uh, close attention to. And I think I heard someone hit, hit the winning bell here or something. We might have Mr. Z here is in the house. John, how are you, my friend? Hey, we got a break coming up, buddy. We got to pay a few bills. Can you stay with us? I'll uh, wait with bated breath. Well, that's the, mint flavored is mine, but whatever you like, pal. We'll be right back with <laughs> Mr. Z from Philly, 877 927 6648, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that we can. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with John Chebney from uh, Philly. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, Larry, I wanted to um, ask for your eyes on Comex Gold. Yes. With a very specific question, if you could please. Um, uh, we've been chopping around, of course, since uh, Monday, uh, March 20th. So I guess that would place us in the eighth day where, uh, where we pulled back, gone a little bit quiet, kind of going sideways. And, of course, uh, uh, I'm a you know, currently poor guesser of what's going to happen the next day or two, whether it's up, down, sideways, in or out. But let us let us assume this uh, this action since March 20th and the spot high that was like the April gold at that time. I think the high was 2015 and 2015 per ounce. Mm -hmm. Let us assume this. Eight day uh, action is part of a uh, a pause that refreshes, if you will. That yes. in fact we don't uh, turn this into a uh, you know defined declining trend. In that scenario, let us uh, let us guess that the the next move is higher. Let's take that just as an assumption. If we in fact see Comex Gold surpassing that that high. Can you share with us and with me what uh, what uh, your target or what, what your rally targets would be in that event? I'd just like to compare notes on that I, question. I, I'm, I'm looking at 2175 in June gold, John. That's the ABCD structure from the high we made up there at uh, 2095 and then the move down into 1939 that tick tells me that we're with that abcd coming in at the 382 like it did so perfectly then i think that's where it's getting ready to go is to 2175 in the june gold okay so that's that's just using the daily chart doing an a b and c d target yes um let let us let's just guess that that happens uh, of course only okay. can tell us if it does or not but if that occurs, that's going to put us over uh, that uh, 2075 double top. And that double yes. top, that occurred, what, uh, June, excuse me, July of 2020 yep. and March of 2022. If we get over that, does, uh, does that suggest, uh, in fact, likely much higher prices past 2175? Well, that's all I have to work with, John, because the daily is, uh, you know, if I start looking at weeklies or something, I'm going to get out of my out of my uh, comfort zone. And so what I'm looking for is that 2175. My key figure on the downside is 1939. If we get below that, the whole game has changed. That means we're going to bear market. 
Uh, as long as that 382 can hold, then I'm uh, I'm all for it. Uh, so that's all I'm waiting to see is when we get this next thrust. Right now we're trading it around. Well, we moved over to the June now, so these numbers change a little bit. But uh, that target of 2175 is is pretty uh, pretty correct, you know. Yeah, I uh, appreciate that. Thanks, uh, thanks there. Uh, can I uh, change the? Uh uh, the topic right here, just ask you a question uh, regarding your conversations with John Jameson, uh, yes. specifically on Bitcoin. Uh, yes. Bitcoin, of course, surged up to that 28,000 level, and we've just gone sideways just under that level now the past week or two. And, um, of course, you know, uh, uh, Silicon Valley Bank was uh, taken down. Uh, it was Silvercrest Capital that was also a banking institution dealing with uh, crypto, um, uh, the crypto markets, or at least the on-off ramps for that market. Um, with all that, it would almost seem like you know the powers that be want to take down or take down uh, certain crypto markets, but Bitcoin. You know, which has, uh, you know, CME futures on it, as does Ethereum. Both those are hanging up. I'm wondering if he has any comment about what that likely means. Well, as you know, John, there's only availability of 21 million Bitcoins, and they're split up in increments of Satoshis. John says there's not much they can do about that. Now, remember, every 18 months they do this halving thing that John said, and that comes up again. Uh, later this year, sometime in the fall. But he doesn't think anything's going to happen to Bitcoin. The ones he's watching are some of the smaller coins that are coming out because there's thousands of these things and some of them get better and better. And then as people come in and start to see that, they bid them up. And he's got three or four that he's watching. He says, but there are none of them here that are within what he calls a reasonable risk. So he's basically standing aside to see if Bitcoin can close above 29,000. And then if it can, then they're going to say, yep, then maybe we'll have to do something. But until that time happens, uh, he's actually on the sidelines. He's been long silver and gold for quite a while, but uh, not much in the cryptos for sure. Got it, got it. That's real helpful. I appreciate that update. I hadn't heard his perspective for a while. So uh, thanks a bunch, Larry, and uh, thanks on gold. We'll uh, take it a couple of days at a time. Hey, listen, thank you very much, John. We really appreciate your comments coming in here. And keep an eye on those beans, buddy, because there's something big brewing over there at the Board of Trade. I don't think there's any question about that. This thing is uh, looks like it really wants to rock and roll here. We've got a little three drive in it right now, but it's going to be really interesting to see uh, how it ends up uh, through the yeah, rest I'm, of the day. Uh, just for the record, I'm long both uh, the new crop corn and beans from a week and a half ago. It's got a lead on those. I'm actually going to hold those through that planting intentions report that comes out uh, Friday at noontime. But, uh, yeah, we shall see. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe uh, maybe the Ice Age that has returned to North and South Dakota and uh, northern Minnesota uh, screws up planting somehow um, up that way anyway. And maybe that's, a, maybe that's a factor that drives buyers to come for these things. Who knows? Okay, well, listen, we'll be watching you, and you have any insight, you please give us a jingle, okay, my friend? Very good, Larry. Thanks again. Bye now. Okay, you bet. Okay, folks, we were talking about the uh, fact that we didn't get filled in our crude oil today, but one of the strategies that we like to use is that if we don't get filled, the first thing we try to do is to look for the first uh, 382 retracement here. Now, unfortunately, I can't get a video out. To tell people this, but we talk about it all the time here. As you can see, if you miss the first train, here's the second train. Came right back up, right to the 382, 10 pips above it, and then boom, down another $800. So now you have your stop at break even here. And if this is right, this is going to pay big dividends because this was a big ABCD on the daily, just as clear as could be. It just was nine pips away from where you wanted to be. And it didn't quite get there, but by golly, it might eventually. So we're going to wait and see. But right now, we're going to break even trade in that crude oil. And that is about as best that you can get. I think we've got a, a break coming up here in just a few minutes. By the way, tomorrow, folks, we're going to have Mike Moore of More Analytics as our guest. Uh, on Friday, I believe, oh dear, I can't remember who I had on Friday. I have to double check the count. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the uh, NASDAQ chart that over the last five, six days, because that's the real key one for me. This is the fourth time that we've been up to that 3A2 retracement and not been unable to break through it to the upside. We've just started to sell off a little bit here in the market, not very much. But it's important that uh, if this is going to be bullish, we start to get above that line and very, very shortly. And I mean very, very shortly, like today, tomorrow, Friday at the latest, because if we go below that low, that we made just a few hours ago, yesterday morning we were on the show here, trading there at 16,660. Uh, if that low is broken, then look out, because then you're going to be looking at what cyclical theorists say is the left hand left translation, which means the market crests early in the cycle, and that means we're going to be coming down. But until that happens, <clears throat> the market still looks very, very bullish. We have some sell-offs. You blink your eyes, and it comes right back. So that's pretty much what you're watching here today. The gold, like I was mentioning with Mr. Z, is still in the consolidation area, and we're waiting for a pattern here to get us long again. Or if we see something really significant, we would look to go to the short side because it trades quite well, just like crude oil does. Crude oil and, and soybeans, all are the big ones, they trade with the same type of harmony that all the other ones do. So. Uh, remember, folks, that was a major high today in crude oil. If we get above $75 a barrel now, uh, that tells us that things are going to be going uh, 
a lot higher. But we hit that number within nine pips of the exact number. And that tells us that crude oil should be correcting here over the past uh, next few weeks anyway. And as you can see, today's 3A2 rally has already brought to you a thousand bucks if you were in that because it went right up to the 3A2 and then failed like a tiny little squirt that it is. Anyway, we're going to take a break here, folks. And hold on one second, and uh, we'll be right back uh, best we can. 877-927-6648. <clears throat> 